Cecil Gufrio, Director of Le Changeur BNP Paribas Personal Finance, is joining us now to comment the possible scenarios for the future after COVID-19. Hello, Cecil. Thank you for being with us. Yes, hello. Hello, everybody. For years, Le Changeur has been conducting research and testing models for the future of the world. Has the COVID-19 crisis changed your main predictions for the future? Not really, um, yes. Well, we sketched four scenarios and um, the main conclusion in fact stressed by, um, by this crisis in the last months uh, show that um, this last months accelerate uh, development already observed, such as uh, making brands more responsible for their social and natural environment, uh, increasing the influence of, uh, of large, large digital players on our consumption, and also developing uh, communitaries for the attractiveness of localism. But it can upset the established uh, order when the health crisis uh, invites to re revise habits uh, and implies a social distancing uh, that remote digital uh, usage like uh, teleworking or e-learning uh, reinvents the, the geography in fact of our consumption and uh, that our house could become an absolute refuge of value so finally uh, it reinforces the, the, the challenge to which consumption and trade were already subject and after the delivery of these four scenarios it, it's clear that the, the crisis confirms the relevance of this vision while the pandemic is accelerating uh, the underlying drivers, transformation, and especially digital one, model change, uh, or for example, sustainability. Mm. What methodolo methodology did you use to, go to get to the four possible scenarios for the world after COVID-19? So you want to have a... Uh, a vision of these four scenarios. Yes, uh, the first one uh, is uh, is star system, um, is what you might call um, the liberal model. Here, uh, independent in economic players offer values proposal, which uh, added value. Uh, this trajectory uh, is marked by the acceleration of digital uses, which confirms the supremacy of leaders in online commerce to the detriment of, of certain distributors. And um, in fact, around a wide profusion, every citizen has the freedom to, to show his happiness. And, uh, and in this scenario, the pivotal actor is the company. It is at the heart of the mapping of uh, our daily lives. The second scenario, uh, life control, uh, rather embody um, a centralized model. Uh, in this case, you can imagine our lives um, under control. Uh, tracking become common, uh, becomes commonplace, uh, connected objects at, at the heart of our privacy, <laughs> and states and large organizations uh, have received from citizens the, the legitimacy of the collective uh, good. So they have, uh, in fact, in this case, the responsibility to democratize access and care. In short, central governance is at the heart of this system. Uh, the third one is made locally. Uh, on the contrary, it is a decentralized model. Uh, it set up the local, the local uh, as a great champion of the post-COVID-19 uh, era. Um, countries refocus on themselves. Local trade is, uh, is strengthening. And the same, at the same time, as, um, as territorial activists, uh, which militates for a form of strategic, economic, uh, and social independence. Huh? And this model values progress on a human scale, which uh, legitimizes uh, local uh, action. The individual and his ability to act uh, directly at the heart of the system is valued. And uh, last, not the least, uh, the last scenario is Earth in progress. Uh, it predicts the victory of a collective interest. It represents um, a conversational model uh, and it challenged the very idea of progress and growth at all costs um, and opens up a long-term reflection, um, a, a reflection in favor of a, a sustainable and a united uh, society. Uh, the, the challenge of humanity and the very future of our existence uh, on Earth are at the heart of the project. This commits the, the key player, players to more virtuous practices and to continue 
conversation with all the protagonists. And in this case, um, the civil society then plays a really a key role. So finally, uh, these four scenarios mean that uh, at the start of the new decade, uh, um, a new generation of individuals and exchange uh, is emerging. Another world is preparing itself with its code organizations, technologies, and also its value. And which scenario would you recommend the world should go to? Which is there the is best one? <laughs> I, I, I cannot. <laughs> um, for me, uh, it's just in progress, but um, um, there is no best solution, I think, that... Um, um, I know that um, there is a kind of desirability, uh, which is not a fit to the probability, uh, but there is no best solution. I cannot say that. Um, I can I, I can tell you uh, how they can impact our future, if you want. Uh, of course. You, you, uh, yes, 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 of course. Uh, and especially in Europe and in Bulgaria. Um, because these scenarios, in fact, are, are likely to impact our future, but their impact may, may differ depending on, on, on the country. It's why desirability is difficult because, um, for example, in, in, in Asia, it's the desirability of certain, uh, um, certain scenarios will not be the same that, uh, that in, uh, in Africa or in Europe. You can imagine, for example, that life control which is a te technological uh, and centralized response uh, for a better life, work all the better in China, where central power uh, is cultural. Mm. And, uh, and technological giant as the famous BATX, uh, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, Xiaomi, are already very present. But uh, on European countries, uh, all the scenarios work. It's, it's, it's our job. <laughs> But with the pandemic, I think that their temporality is not the same. Um, in the forthcoming years, um, we may face one or two of them or combination or, or more scenarios. I think that star systems offer an immediate response when progress is, uh, is linear without uh, interruption. Uh, these uh, scenarios add value to major brands and increasingly digital consumption. And, and it is striking because um, the crisis uh, will get rid of the most fragile and will not call into question the system with regard on its long-term impact. So there is a limit on star system. Mm. But um, made locally is becoming the natural short-term trend because the, the scenario supports progress on a human scale by legitimizing uh, local action it satisfies numerous aspirations, uh, traceability, the environment, supporting local employment, uh, independence, uh, uh, economic patriotism. Uh, it is already supported by territorial activism uh, with the closure of borders and the necessary uh, autonomy of nations. Life control is speeding up the place in the medium term by, by proposing legitimate progress for everyone. If this scenario has already uh, advanced in China, as I told you, uh, it is becoming an option in view of the growing influence of, um, of GAFAM, GAFAM, Google, Apple, Facebook, uh, Amazon, uh, uh, Microsoft companies, but especially, I think, in Western Europe. And Earth in Progress uh, is a long-term view. Uh, it is calling to question the very idea of, of a past progress uh, and um, and of growth at all costs. It is at the heart uh, of the public debates uh, at a time when the other scenarios uh, bring a, about a sense of urgency, but without any real solution. It could become the project of tackling a structural, a structural crisis for which uh, salvation relies on collective action in touch with the sustainability of all lives in, in, on the planet. But more uh, specifically, uh, I'm not a specialist of Bulgaria. <laughs> uh, on, on the Bulgarian area, I think uh, that this temporality works even if uh, the life control trajectory is in retreat, within particular the, 
the low impact uh, uh, of the GAFAM, so the Google, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft ecosystems, uh, they are not uh, really very, very, very present uh, on the area, and uh, as, uh, as in uh, Western uh, Europe and especially in USA. And, and the absence of very centralized governance, none of stakeholders on the, the economic impact will uh, will certainly encourage a, a decline in consumption in favor of the local which uh, which checks a lot of values it, it is consistent with the uh, yes it's a good thing <laughs> with the Bulgarians wish to be committed to buying local products uh, and for the settlement observatory and uh, see some figures on the screen uh, with a uh, 54 percent of purchase intention uh, Bulgaria are, are in the top three of the local nationalist consumption in Europe, behind Portugal and Italy. Mm. And more globally, a patriotist consumption can encourage a very high expectation of brands and retail chains in favor of social and economic support of, uh, of customers and employees. So I think, to finish, that beyond star system, which supports the current model, there is room for made locally and earth in progress in Bulgaria. And how should Bulgarian retailers and brands adapt to the expected changes? <laughs> ah, uh, you are the, on the banks. What uh, what is say is that they need to, uh, to to adapt by the digital way, uh, because the the, the 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 real impact of the crisis of the pandemic has been the the, the development of the digitalization of the consumer life. It will really uh, stimulate uh, definitely our uh, business. Uh, in light of the latest figures, uh, the digital um, world is a great survivor of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And in a few weeks, everything has accelerated for the digital ecosystem and especially consumption. So, um, so we can say to, uh, today uh, that uh, 4.57 um, uh, billion people now use internet in the world and increase of more than 7% since the time last year. So they need to organize um, really an offer which can be physical, but also uh, online, uh, and also a lot of cooperation with, um, with, um, with, um, with uh, the co consumer. Um, I, I talk about, for example, because there is a lot of drivers. So um, uh, I, I can talk, by, for example, if you want about the, the driver of sustainability and engagement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of yes. To, to give you uh, to give you example of cooperation, uh, we, we see that, uh, for example, in in Bulgaria, forty percent of people um, expect that the responsible consumption and the environment protection will be enforced by laws. And this is, uh, in your country, uh, the highest level in the Europe and higher than the average, which is 31%. Uh, uh, so th there is really um, um, a consumption which will be rehabilitated because of conscious. So what will do uh, uh, the, the stakeholders? And in fact, uh, what they, they need to do, uh, they need to, um, to offer, I think, um, a holistic vision of their offer and especially of the price, because we know that there is a kind of uh, <laughs> um, antagonism between um, the, the sustainability of uh, ambition and also uh, the, 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 the price war. Uh, today, we know that um, we, are, we, we will have um, an economic crisis uh, and, uh, and, and we need to find uh, the, the well balance between the both. Uh, and there are means pedagogy, support, or transparency. And, uh, and what I like me is cooperation. For example, in Europe, we have a very nice initiative from a brand. His name is Sekil Patron, who is a boss in English, uh, that is developing in a lot of uh, countries. I'm not sure it, it is in Bulgaria, but um, there are a lot of uh, countries like Italy, Belgium, France, uh, where Sekil Patron is presented. And, and this brand, which is very young, influence large companies like Danone or Carrefour. And the price is decided with consumers on the basis of survey. The products must be desirable for its CSR, but this often implies a higher price. And thousands of people agree to pay the right price and ultimately influence others to buy it. This is how in uh, at least two years, 
um, this new brand has won over 6 million customers in France and developed around 20 products distributed in numerous supermarkets and online website, uh, on website. Th this section has saved many local farms when in some countries, and including uh, where I live in France, uh, a farmer commits uh, suicide uh, every day. Oh, and see. this brand, it's, uh, you, you see, and this brand has been very active during COVID-19 crisis to support the weakest. I think that it's very important. Mm -hmm. I think that also there is something which is important after, if you want, I can focus on, on the digitalization, is that brands need to understand that if you need to work on digitalization, you need to understand that um, um, we are not equal in front of digital technologies when some do not have the means to equip themselves or, or do not know how to use it. And this, the crisis, uh, revealed inequality in front of the digital trajectory. Uh, precarious, less graduates and seniors households found themselves penalized for attending teleconsultation or e-learning or, or access to e-commerce. So stakeholders need to keep it in mind and need to support electronics now. Yeah. I see. Thank you very much, Cecile, for this interview. Bye-bye.